Thanks, Gregor. Uh, evening, Blake. Uh, how would you put that one into words? Uh, it's that's how it's going for us right now. I mean, I think they they had a couple even strength scoring chances all game. And, you know, lose a game. It's kind of hard to hard to describe. Go next to Jason Bell from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jason. Hi, Blake. Yeah, I had sort of a similar question as Kenny, worded a little differently. But uh, what seems to be the problem? Or, I mean, so many opportunities with the power play. Was it was it a goaltender, or was it uh, things you guys were doing? First few, they pressured us really well. They did a good job. Uh, we kind of switched up our look, and we did everything with score. You know, um, uh, I think you you know. When you're on a power play long enough, you realize that uh, there's going to be a, an opportunity here or there where they stop you. And I think the last couple for our unit was uh, a case of just we didn't score, you know, um, just that's all there is to it. Go next to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. Does it feel, Blake, like this streak has almost taken on kind of a life of its own? Uh, it feels like... We have to be perfect to win a game. Uh, hockey's probably, you know, I mean, every sport's imperfect, but hockey is the most imperfect sport there is. I mean, each player on both teams probably makes a mistake at some point, you know, uh, almost every shift. And um, right now we made, you know, today we made uh, a couple of them and we, we paid for them. So uh, it's just really important for our team to drown out the noise right now and, and look at that film and say that that was a, uh, the only thing missing was the result. We'll go next to Murata Tesh from The Athletic. Go ahead, Murata. Thanks, Greg. Hi, Blake. Um, what does it mean, if anything, to see Josh Morrissey, who had so many chances, he was looking skyward, but he gets the goal? Oh, it's huge. I mean, production from him is going to be huge for us. And, uh, you know, he had, a, he had a great hockey game tonight. And, you know, there was, you know, he could have had, he could have won the game by himself. I mean, he had so many opportunities just, making really good plays, jumping into the play at the right time. And, uh, you know, credit to both him and Neil making great play there to, to score us a huge goal. And final question to Sean Reynolds from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Sean. Thanks, Gregor. Blake, you, you'd said there the only thing missing was the result. Uh, I don't know how you feel about this, but from the outside, it looks like if you're in the playoffs, um, there's, it's not going to overly matter where you finish. So is tonight something that you can take far more away from if you feel like everything was there, if the process is right, does winning even matter at this stage or do you need those wins to build that confidence? Yeah, we got to win. I mean, I think, uh, you play long enough. There's, there's going to be stretch, you know, stretches where your game's not that great, but, uh, Maybe you're catching the team at the right time or, you know, whatever the case may be, and you're stringing wins together when maybe you're not even playing your best hockey. And then ultimately that trend turns into, you know, losing a few games and having to, to get your game back. And, uh, you know, typically you, you, you still suffer a couple losses before you get back on the winning side, even when you get your game right. So um, I think the last handful of games, there's been way more good than bad and, you know, we, we just got to keep pushing. We just got to, we just got to stay with it and, and uh, not let it get, get to us. And hopefully we can build some confidence here, you know, before the end of the regular season.